Greetings, my fine citizens. Welcome back to the one and only, the ultimate, super excited, super freakyish brother in the world, because I have long hair, cool, and love rock and roll, but most of all, I love fountain pen, ballpoint pens, gel pens, felt tail pens, mechanical pencils, you name it, I love it. That's my groove. Can you dig it? Okay, bros. First of all, <clears throat> I need to show you a work of art. I need to show you a Picasso, for real. I'm, I'm on the real side right now. Stay with me. Don't you hit that forward button. Hang with me, my friends. I'm fixing to lay some art on your eyes. The other evening, Mr. Announcer, we met some friends of ours, Frank and Kara Overman, for dinner. And their grandson, Andrew, 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 is like this many years old, six years old. And he gave me a picture. He colored a picture for me. La! Telephone means medicine time. Anyway, here it is. One of my all-time favorites. The Minion! Wow! And he said, Larry, I made this for you for Christmas, didn't he? So, there it is. And this is by... Andrew, so Andrew, I promised I would share it, so here we are. This is all about Andrew and his love for minions. There we go. All right. Now, today is the day that I'm going to bring back one of my favorite pens. Now, remember, even though I may dip it in some ink, that doesn't mean I have not been writing with it because I write with it for a week or two or whatever and I clean it out. So then I'll come back and I'll use a different ink and uh, I'll just dip the pen in that usually. So here we go. The one and only, the ultimate high, the ultimate favorite, a great band is the Conklin Duograph with the beautiful amber finish. Got it? Now... This pen was established in 1898. As we go up the barrel, you'll see that right here on the flat top, Conklin, nicely done, established 1898. Yonfa purchased Conklin back in 2009. But in 1923, the duograph model was launched. Beautiful, isn't it? Really love it. Now, the body material that was used is a resin. And it's... Okay. So they've done the body... And a real beautiful amber look. Then they trimmed it out with some silver on the clip. On the band, which says Conklin. Uh, really did a great job on the detail on the band. And on the top of the cap, the silver part is also attached to the clip and as we go down this beautiful barrel it's got a black end to it and how much does this pin weigh well it comes in at 26 g's the length capped as you see it 5.5 inches again i love that flat top and posted it's going to come in at 6.9 inches. Unscrews. Fits perfectly there. And here's your pen post-it. 
to send me made look a little long and to me either way is fine I'm posted and I've been using it posted the nips is when you go down there's no step off there's nothing that's going to be annoying to your fingers it doesn't have a really big grip but it's going to be big enough for small fingers and even if you hold your pin here, if you have large fingers, it's going to accommodate your fingers as well. As we go down to the beautiful Conklin nib, it has Conklin on the nib and made in USA. And this nib is a Jovo number no. 6 nib. It's a 1.1 steel nib. It's a stub. Okay. And they come in in different sizes. You can get them extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and omniflex. So you got a whole lot of options going on when you want different nips. And they're affordable. Uh, they're not really low in option. They're about in the $50 range. Nice, beautiful pen. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of comparison. So here we are with the duograph. And here is the Lamy Safari. About the same length. Maybe the duograph is a little bit longer, but has more girth to it. And the Pilot Metropolitan. Again, the Durograph more girth and just a bit longer. Last but not least, the Lamy. Hey, Jan. Right here. And I believe in there almost the same length with the Aeon just barely takes a leg, the lead on the length. And on the girth side, they're almost about the same. Maybe the Durograph has a little bit more girth to it. So, thought that might be interesting to those who'd like to know those kind of stuff. So, what do you say we get to writing? All right. Right, 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 right. I'm going to. Dip him in some ink. Again, this is Noodlers. And I'll let do the honors pronounce the ink. This one is habanero. Yes, and habanero to me could be hot, couldn't it? Yes. So here we go with a writing sample. And the downstroke and the cross stroke is thinner. So you got a much wider downstroke and a much thinner cross stroke. And let's we'll just do a little and we'll see a wetting wet test here. And it's wet. Nice. Reverse. And you can get a different long variation. It does do that. 
So there you have it. The Cochran Duograph with the amber finish with the 1.1 stub. That's a number six Joe O'Nip. You can find these about anywhere. Uh, Anderson pins, Pin Chalet Gold Spot Pin, the iPin Store, Goulet Pins. Check them out. See what you think. Can't go wrong with a duograph. At least, I don't think so. I like them. Well, folks, that's going to do this video today. I hope you enjoyed that Picasso I showed you. Until later, have a great day. Have some fun. Ink up a pen. Get to writing. And as always, don't text and drive. Later, folks.